Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll see how we can convert an in-text form to PDF using Power Automate. Now for those who do not know about in-text forms, in-text forms is used to create dynamic online forms that is used to capture and submit data. It works on a SharePoint platform as well. Now when I say that, all of you people who are looking for an alternative to InfoPath, Nintex is one of the best alternatives out there in the market. Now you can go ahead and create the forms. The forms look excellent. The next thing that you might want to do is print the form. And in this blog, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to print an Nintex form to PDF using Power Automate. So without wasting any further time, let's get into the demo. So I navigate to my favorite SharePoint online site collection. I click on site contents and I'll create a new list. Just remember an in-text form needs to be associated to a list. Demo in-text forms and I'll click on create. So we'll create a very basic form. The easiest way to create a form is to go ahead and create columns. So I'll quickly create few columns. The first column is single line of text. The name is first name. Second column, again, a single line of text. The name is last name. Then the third column is, we'll select a date and time. And I'll say DOB, date and time, include time, no, so that's good and I'll click on save. Then we'll make it a little bit complicated. We'll add another column, maybe of a type person, and I'll say login account. Finally, we'll also create a choice column and I'll say industry and I'll select and I'll type in few industries such as information technology, human resource, and maybe mecha mechanical. So I'll click on save. So our list is ready. Next thing, if you have an in-text already configured, it's very easy. Just click on this list view command set icon, which says in-text forms, and you can create a responsive form using responsive designer. And that's pretty much it. The form is ready. Now if you see, we have all the columns that we have created. In addition, we also have the attachment column. In this demo, I'll now show you how to include the attachment in the converted PDF. In the next demo, however, I promise I'll go ahead and show you that. So let's leave the attachment column out here and maybe we can come back to the same form and I'll show you how you can also export the in-text form to PDF including the attachments okay but this is it it's that easy to create a form and if you see the submit and the cancel buttons are also being created for us by Nintex so I'll just click on publish publish is successful I can click on close and now when I try to create a form the form is already visible isn't that awesome so the form is visible, but now we need to go ahead and automate the printing process. To automate the printing process, I'm going to use Power Automate. So using Power Automate, I can click on create a new flow. Let's create a new flow. Let's create an automated flow. In our scenario, let's say when an item is created, then in text form should be automatically triggered the flow or the power automate should automatically be triggered and the PDF should be created in a library. So I'll say Nintex forms to PDF demo. Now I need to put in the site address. So my site name is Nintex demo. My list name is demo Nintex form that we just created. Now next, we need to go ahead and use a converter to convert this form with the correct fidelity. There are many converters in the market, but with my experience, I'll say you can use Mohembe. 
So Mohembi Converter goes ahead and provides a wide list of action with which you can and convert list items to PDF and in addition you can watermark, merge etc. Just one thing out here, Mohembi is a subscription based service so go to their site and look at the various subscriptions that they offer. So I'll type in HTML and I need to pass in the link to the form so I'll say link to the item I'll say portrait that's fine I'll say print and here my friends because Mohimbi has tight integration with SharePoint you can use the authentication type directly in the action here I'll type the my service account dot com I'll put in my password and I'll leave the viewport size as blank I'll add a little bit of conversion delay 10,000 10,000 means 10 seconds so 10,000 milliseconds and then I will create the file back in SharePoint so create file let me create it back into the Nintex demo itself so Nintex demo the folder would be shared document let's give it a dynamic file name so I'll say Nintex form demo dash ID dot PDF I'll say file content the processed file content I'll save my flow I'll just go back to my SharePoint yeah the library is clean so not to worry now that I have my power automate configured I can go ahead and click on settings for the Mohembi action and I'll say secure the inputs and the outputs and I'll say done and let me test it first manually so I'll go to demo in text form and I'll say Mr. Clavin Fernandez and let me say let me make myself look a little bit young if I just trust me this is not my original date of birth so that's fine I'm just type something in and I'll type in my name I'll select the industry IT I'll not add the attachments as of now and I'll click on submit so if everything has been configured correctly my power automate should run the flow should trigger and within a few seconds we should have a PDF so here my friends the flow has triggered so it's converting HTML just remember that we have secured the inputs and outputs so the configuration is not visible and the create file action has also succeeded so if I go back to the documents folder here my friends you have a PDF So if I click on the PDF here you have the converted form as a PDF so wasn't it easy to go ahead and create a form and convert it into a PDF to be very honest we did it under 10 minutes which also included the instructions so that's pretty much it i hope this session or this tutorial was informative and thank you for listening bye bye